Hello everyone. I'm Samchuk Park from Samsung Electronics. It's a great honor to make a presentation at Strategy Developer Conference. The title of this presentation is a tiering-based global deduplication for a distributed storage system. I will proceed with the presentation with Myung-Hwan Oh, who is also from Samsung Electronics. The agenda is as follows. First of all, we will introduce background and motivation of our work. Then we will explain our proposed global deduplication design with theory. And after sharing what needs to be further improved in the future, we will finish the presentation. First of all, Let's begin with background and motivation. As many of you know, Ceph is one of the most popular distributed storage systems. Uh, currently, our main focus is Ceph. We are actively participating with the Ceph community to improve Ceph. The right figure shows the architecture of Ceph. Basically, Ceph provides unified interface supporting object, block, and file. It can be possible because of the core library called Adults, which is located at the bottom of the three interfaces. Although the three interfaces have different characteristics regarding reliability requirement, Lados is strict to provide strong consistency to serve a reliable storage service. As a result, it can serve not only block service, which demand the strong consistency, but also object and file services. Lados is composed of OSD, monitor, and manager. OSD means object service daemon, which runs on typical storage service node. And it is responsible for serving IO from the user, replication and erase coding, rebalancing, and cohering data. And monitor maintains a mass copy of the cluster map, and it periodically checks the status of OSD to know whether OSD is alive or not. And it will trigger the recovery procedure if OSD is down. The role of manager is to collect the statistics within the cluster. And MDS is only for file service to manage the metadata. In order to use storage efficiently, the duplication technique is widely used. The duplication can save storage capacity by eliminating redundant data. To remove data redundancy, most deduplication techniques comprise steps of chunking fingerprinting and comparing fingerprints. Chunking is a uh, stage two divide a data stream into smaller data streams called chunks. Fingerprinting is a step that generates a representative value called fingerprint using a cryptographic hash algorithm from the corresponding data chunk. Once a fingerprint is calculated, the storage system compares it with the set of fingerprints observed in the past. If there is a match, new chunk is considered as redundant and not stored physically, while only each logical reference is kept. Although there are lots of well-known deduplication techniques, it is very hard, hard to apply conventional deduplication designs 
to the scalar storage system due to following issues. First, managing scalability of fingerprint index is required. How to look up fast and how to distribute even. Second, managing the metadata associated with du duplication requires a huge amount of design and implementation modification of the existing distributed storage system. Lastly, the duplication operation needs additional data processing and it causes performance degradation. To address these challenge issues, we propose a new deduplication method, which is highly scalable and compatible with the existing scale-out storage. Specifically, our deduplication method employs a double hashing algorithm that leverages hashes used by the underlying scale-out storage, which address the limit of current fingerprint hash. In addition, our design integrates the meta information of file system and the duplication into a single object. And it can control the deduplication ratio at online by being aware of system demand based on post processing. From now on, we will explain our proposed design, global deduplication with theory. The figure shows a theory-based global deduplication design. The proposed method consists of metadata pool and chunk pool. Metadata pool contains metadata objects that contain the duplication metadata and cached chunks. Chunk pool contains the duplicated chunk object. All object location is determined by their own object ID. In case of chunk object, each object ID is generated by each content using fingerprint hash. Uh, to solve the fingerprint index problem, we propose a double hashing mechanism. The key mechanism of fingerprint index is to detect redundant chunks faster. In a traditional deduplication, a hash value of a chunk and a location of a chunk are mapped in the fingerprint index. So, when we query a new chunk's hash value to the fingerprint index, we can retrieve its location. And a distributed storage system has similar mechanism. A distributed hash algorithm determines the location of an object. One difference is the inf value for the hash algorithm. A hash value of a chunk is an inf input for a deduplication system, and object ID is an info for a distributed storage system. The key idea of the double hashing is to combine these two mismatched in value. By employing this mechanism, we can remove the fingerprint index itself and preserve the scalability of the underlying storage system. This mechanism gives following advantages. First, it gracefully removes the fingerprint index that can be a significant problem. When applying the duplication to the scale out distributed storage system. Second, it preserves the original scalability of underlying distributed storage system. And finally, no modification no modification is required on client side because the client request is based on the original object ID.
Most previous works have external metadata structure for deduplication metadata. Since the, this design can be implemented relatively easily. However, additional complex linking between the duplication metadata and existing scalar storage system is required. Figure shows a conceptual diagram of a common approach to support data deduplication. For example, if we add fingerprint index or reference count information for deduplication, the underlying systems through the features do not recognize this additional data structure. Therefore, the storage features such as high availability or data recovery cannot work for the external data structure. These features must be implemented separately in the external data structure. Even worse, it is hard, hard to guarantee that the modified or added module works correctly or not. The correctness for high availability is very critical for reliability. Therefore, we designed a self-contained object for data deduplication to solve the external deduplication metadata problem. The external design makes difficult for integration with storage feature support since existing storage features cannot recognize the additional external data structures. If we can design data deduplication system without any external component, the original storage features can be reused. Figure shows the concept of it. We extended the underlying storage metadata to contain the duplication information. Our key idea for minimizing performance degradation is post-processing with late control and selective deduplication. In our design, background deduplication thread periodically conduct a deduplication job, and this background I.O. is controlled through rate control. We also maintain the object's hotness, which can make sure that hot object is not deduplicated until each state is changed. First, with ratio control, constant throughput is guaranteed. Post-processing can hide that latest problem because foreground I.O. is handled as the existing method and background deduplication thread executes a deduplication jump layer. However, the worst case should be considered that the foreground I.O. job is interfered by background deduplication tasks. Therefore, if we add plate control technique, foreground I.O. interference can be minimized. Second, it can give a chance that frequently modified object does not need to be deduplicated. In post-processing, background deduplication stretch lead the data and then they conduct the duplication process. Therefore, we can control whether or not the hard object is deduplicated. And from now on, Melano will introduce the improvement work that is currently working on. Uh, hi, everyone. I will begin, I will begin by uh, introducing myself. Uh, I'm Myung Won Oh. Uh, I, will, I have almost 10 years of experience for distributed system and system software, especially uh, stories. Uh, 
two years ago, I prototyped uh, global deed creation in SAP, as explained uh, by uh, Songyu. But in, uh, in the meantime, I found uh, we found several problems that need to be uh, solved uh, before deed application is stable to be used by the public. Uh, first is the uh, first is metadata space uh, overhead when uh, deed application uh, when deduplicating uh, unique chunks. As you may know, uh, deduplication is very effective if the uh, storage cluster has many uh, redundant chunks. If not, uh, the only only the size of metadata, metadata for deduplication increase incrementally as the number of objects grows. SAP uh, is a general purpose distributed story system. So, so the uh, objects that consist of unique chunks could be stored in the uh, storage cluster. So, uh, which means we need the uh, plan when, when the storage cluster has uh, unique chunks. To solve this problem, we are now thinking of uh, a way to look for redundant chunks by external application. This application monitors uh, clusters object state to find, to find objects that are suitable for deduplication. Uh, the next problem is uh, efficiency and scalability. Current implementation used uh, a fixed chunking algorithm to calculate chunk boundary. But uh, it is well known that uh, there is boundary shift problem if fixed chunking is used. So for now, uh, we have a plan to exploit uh, fast content-defined chunking as a default, default chunk algorithm for deduplication. Uh, this step is almost, uh, almost done. Also, uh, uh, we have observed that uh, the background thread in OSD, uh, which is responsible for reading, chunking, and fingerprinting for deduplication, um, has a lack of information for, uh, for redundant chunk, and it becomes uh, overhead. This is because uh, the background thread in, on, in, on OSD uh, does not know other objects in, um, in the storage cluster. Well, moreover, uh, it has a lot of work to do. To overcome this limitation, uh, we, are, we are now refactoring a tiering mechanism to handle uh, digital procedure in parallel and provide APIs that allows uh, OSD to trigger uh, deduplication on redundant objects uh, by, by the uh, external application. Moving on to the next slide, uh, other challenges we face, face now are how to work with the snapshot and make, and make a scroll process efficiently. In a nutshell, uh, chunk map needs to be shared when snapshot is created. Uh, but uh, as shown in the figure, uh, if previous snapshot has uh, thousands, of, thousands of chunks, uh, the thousands of reference increments messages are required when snapshot is created. Uh, as a result, uh, snapshot creation time is significantly, significantly uh, delayed. Uh, to address this problem, we are implementing a shared a reference scheme by share, sharing the reference if previous snapshot has the same chunk. This minimizes uh, the, the overhead of sending incremented message. Uh, this work is also almost done. You can see uh, how it works at, uh, 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 at SAP GitHub. I will introduce. Another topic is uh, scrub. We, we originally used uh, the number of, number of references 
uh, to calculate how many references uh, the object the object has. But uh, this cause uh, this cause to look up all objects in base pool. So, so we should find on on you know on efficient way to run uh, uh, scrub process. Well, we try to solve this problem by by using object name as a, a reference. There are several uh, items we are working on contribute. Uh, we are okay, working on contributing to the uh, CEP community to make the duplication architecture more more effective, uh, more attractive. Uh, here is our contribution. We are keep going on contributing our work uh, to make cost effective uh, storage architecture. There are uh, there are other works to do. We have also planned to do implement uh, we also plan to do uh, improve tiering, SAP deep tool, and RBD integration. Uh, so that's all. Uh, to sum up, uh, we present and uh, our we are implementing a, a global global duplication in SAP. Uh, which is efficiently eliminating uh, fingerprint index lookup and ensure the reliability and uh, demonstrate uh, current challenges we are we are going to solve. Uh, okay, this is the end of uh, our presentation. Uh, thanks for uh, listening. Mm -hmm.